Nelson Mandela believed in education and its power for opening doors. And what better way to celebrate his birthday with uh, more than 5,000 learners from all over South Africa and some African countries taking part in the Coding for Mandela project. Uh, pupils from grade 6 to 9 will all be playing at the same offline coding game on the day at 45 sites. One of the sites is Mkagazwini, where a young Nelson Mandela spent many of his school-going years. Fundiswa Mklegude is on site finding out exactly what is happening. Fundiswa, a very good day to, to you. Siabonu says, Lalini, Sisem, Kagazweni. What's happening there? Yes. Thank you very much, Desiree. Yes, we are here at Mkakezweni, where about uh, uh, three or six uh, local schools are participating in uh, coding games uh, for the Nelson Mandela Day. Uh, we started with a walkabout at the great place where Nelson Mandela grew up, and right behind me is a tree where we are told that uh, he used to sit uh, underneath that tree uh, listening to uh, music from the village of Mkhegezweni and uh, right now we are at the school where he, he attended his first class uh, in my left hand side uh, there is also a church where uh, he was baptized and the learners are inside that uh, class uh, playing the coding uh, games and uh, we hear that uh, they are they will be spending 45 minutes and uh, the other minutes they spent uh, at the walkabout which makes it 67 minutes but with me right now is uh, uh, Prince uh, Pikolom Zimtigaga, uh, who is going to be telling us about and unpack uh, the logistics of this day here. Uh, Mr. Mtigaga, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Tell us uh, about the significance. This village has a rich history because Dr. Nelson Mandela grew up here. He came here when he was nine years old. As the resident of this village, do you feel like this is exactly how things should be? Uh, thank you to you, uh, Sese. Uh, and I would love to greet everyone and also the viewers and the listeners at home. Uh, I would love to start uh, uh, first by observing uh, the king, Azul Banzi. Uh, yes, indeed, this is the village that shaped uh, Nelson Holisasa Mandela. He came here at the age of nine years, as you have said. Uh, where he was fathered by Nkosi uh, uh, Ujongdaba. Uh, uh, he took him to school, uh, uh, he gave him education, uh, 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 he gave him uh, because they left the place uh, when they were supposed to get married. Uh, so the, the man, he was willing to give everything uh, to him as, as the son. Uh, coming to your uh, question, uh, uh, the place, as you can see, it's not uh, uh, developed. Uh, I'm sure that you were struggling on the way uh, to come here in terms of the road. And we also have a huge challenge uh, of crime, uh, stock theft, uh, rape, uh, all, all such of things. Uh, to a certain extent that the locals are now are no longer feeling safe and proud of uh, being uh, the members of the community where Nelson Mandela grew up. Mm. Yes. Okay. And uh, let's talk about today now. Yes. We see these schools. How many are they? There are seven in numbers. Oh. Yes. We have the Mtihaka High School. We have Imkweza. We have the Mkagazweni PS. We have uh, Ichongintaba. We have uh, Ichulukuku. We have uh, Ikunu Milton. We have uh, also Inomosko mm. at Kunu. Mm. Yes. And how is this coding going to assist the learners? The coding game is very, it's a very good game and challenging the mind to think. Uh, uh, you use a puzzle and cell phone. Remember, cell phones now uh, are already on kids, but we now want to want them for uh, want them to use it uh, on a way that will build them instead of negative uh, ways. Uh, through this coding technology, we are looking forward on it because we also have a strong belief that if we can have a, a more technology and uh, and more uh, computer science people, uh, even 
the problem that we have here in this community in, in this community of crime we can deal with it through technology we can uh, counteract uh, with stock theft the trackers the what through technology uh, we can build more laboratories whereby the dna test for the rapist were being done so that we don't take uh, three years or five years waiting for for results so this a uh, 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 program of coding it's really uh, bringing uh, us a, a huge impact and we look forward on it and we we we, we are asking uh, uh, our government to engage on this program and assist where it is necessary because without the technology uh, the future of the rural areas uh, it, it will be dull mm -hmm. yes so hence we have decided to take this opportunity of uh, a long live uh, icon Tadamadiba and to put all those children here and and teach them the coding so that they can be uh, more equipped it challenges them the mind and all those ones that they have played this game or are playing this game, I'm 100% sure that even on mathematics, they will improve. Mm -hmm. On science, they will improve because the game teaches them how the, the problem solving using the limited uh, skills or the puzzles that mm -hmm. they have. Yeah. One last question, uh, Prince, before I let you go. You were help assisting the learners in a tour, uh, inside the mm -hmm. great place. Mm -hmm. How important now for young people people like these ones to know uh, the history of not only this village but as well as uh, the history of Utatu Mandela. It's, it's very important to, to know uh, uh, our history generally, uh, the history uh, uh, as, as black, the history as, uh, uh, as Timbus, uh, uh, the history uh, as, as, uh, uh, as, 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 as the people that fought uh, the apartheid, because without our history and, uh, uh, and turning uh, all the history and reviving it, it won't be easy for them to, to know how difficult it was uh, before so that they can see that and uh, now they are a little bit privileged as compared to, to the young ones that they were here before. Thank you very much. That is Prince Pikolom Zimtekaka of Mkekezweni. Remember, these uh, learners are also assisted. Uh, they, they are working together with the University of Nelson Mandela uh, University in Kebeha. Uh, Professor uh, John uh, Hrailing is also here assisting uh, the learners. He said that uh, uh, they want to ensure Sure that uh, they are uh, computer scientists uh, in rural, coming from rural areas. We did earlier on speak to uh, the grandson of uh, the late former president, Dado Nelson Mandela, Undaba Mandela, who was saying that uh, this is a very significant day because they want to close the gap between the haves and the haves not. Uh, we will also be rushing to Unu, where the Minister of Agriculture, Umamu Togo Didiza, uh, is uh, doing a, a 67 minutes of Mandela there. Uh, she will be handing over seedlings as well as uh, uh, vegetables to locals uh, to ensure that uh, they plant their gardens. Uh, it's now back to you guys in studio. Fundeswa, thank you so much for that really beautiful story and of course we'll continue to follow uh, your zigzagging around the province.